Welcome back to our Global IT Acceleration Kids Playwright channel on lecture one, which means uh, this is the started lecture. Before you started this lecture, I highly encourage you to complete previous lecture uh, with the postman related with this course. Um, Playwright EY automation, Playwright uh, API automation, and and uh, the postman um, manual executions. So let's get and get started and jump on the topics. Today we'll be discussing about Playwright API automation. So on this Playwright API automation, in order to automate that API, you have to execute manually first. Um, any tools you are using it, it could be Postman, which is developer are using it, and QA also is uh, manually testing the API using Postman. Also you can use Red API, SOAP UI, right, uh, JMeters, for the API uh, API manual executions, then we'll be uh, automating end-to-end -end development using Playwright API. So let's get started. We'll be using uh, uh, endpoints. That endpoints basically will be pulling up the endpoints from the Rackless website. Rackless website, and we'll be pulling a sample um, endpoints. Let's say this one the get get endpoint list users right we'll copy that endpoint and come back to the come back to our um collection this is our collection and last time we we use this right we use this endpoint when and we did the assertion on it so those are the assertion if i send the request assertion so there is eight assertion over here Right. I think you guys are already familiar with the, the assertions. I'm not going to be going through with the assertion because this is a part of the postman. So now I just want you to understand the, the process, the flow. So that's me um, in postman, we are manually executing it. So basically we have an endpoint, we clicked on send. This is what we, so this is a given and we perform the actions as a send key. Then we get the response right on that response we will be validating asserting the status code number one the number two will have um, the the schema validation number three will have um, uh, response time and some of the static key value pairs uh, from the response uh, JSONs right so this is all our manual process for automation if you um, if I talked about the API automation, right, for the playwright. So playwright, I don't have to, uh, I don't have to say anything about the playwright because you guys are already familiar with it. Playwrights, um, if I talked about whole day, all all longs, you know, like that's not going to be finishing it up. But um, I just want to touch up um, uh, for the playwright. It's it can automate everything, uh, front end, back ends, which is UI, API, middleware. Um, middleware like like is a database automating like is a uh, event hub azure event hub azure uh, service buzz kafka um, graphql it can be automated anything by the playwrights so playwrights support uh, all the programming language java c sharp python and and the um, and uh, and um, java python c sharp javascript typescript even though it is it is working for any any browser even though the on on the api automation we're not going to be um, um using the browsers but we'll be automating uh, api using the headless mode right and in playwright there is no uh, no flicky test no trade-off no limits um as you see the multiple it's multiple everything's uh trusted events uh test frames and also it's it's Playwright is end-to-end -end full solution, first executions, powerful tooling. Like you can record and run from the UI standpoint using code gen. Uh, you can use the Playwright inspector. You can use Trace Viewer, right? There's a lot more features in Playwright. So you guys can uh, uh, going back in a Playwright and learn about it. But we'll jump into directly on the API testing. So in API testing, there is a nice documentation using the RESTful um, API, also the SOAP UI. There is a two type of service. One of them it's a, it's called a RESTful service, another one it's called a SOAP uh, SOAP service. So we'll be uh, talking about the RESTful service today. Uh, over here, there is a uh, all the documentations writing APIs, 
um, configuration inside the config.js file um, you know like the all the token and the, all the accept headers will be going inside it then writing test itself right those are the writing test so let's go ahead and jump into that um, the part let's install the playwright from the scratch how do we install uh, we can install you know like they're using um, items using using playwrights um, I'm sorry using uh, items you can uh, use the terminal you can use um, um, you know like CMD command prompt from the Windows machine let's get started let's see so I'm in the users MD uh, but I want to pull the folder basically from the desktop let's say there is a uh, many way you can navigate to that folder you can go to the directory so i'm gonna go like this open up the folder playwright then inside the playwright there is inside playwright api so we'll just drag and drop right so you see over here pwd so i'm inside the playwright api okay so inside it i'll create a folder right mkdir which is called a play right api automation okay so let's go inside play right api automation play right automation we're inside the play right automation now let's open up with the now uh, with the visual studio code so you you use port space dot it will open up for you okay so we are inside the visual studio code now we'll be open up the terminal in visual studio code we'll be using by default terminal which is came, comes with um, you can manually click on the terminal and run new terminal or in the mac control shift tilde or in a windows um, control shift tilde too right you can use both version of now let's go ahead and ins install our playwright so there is a basic script inside the website npm in it playwright latest let's go ahead and install it we'll be using the javascript for your programming we'll be using the test endpoints github not for now then playwright browser we don't need the browser but let's keep it for both framework okay in the meantime let's go to the next part running the sample test playwright and px playwright test so we'll be copying this inside the script file see the package.json file comes with last time i think you remember uh, during our ui automation we put it inside the script as a test right so we'll be putting over here is a npx playwright test as a test so we can run it from the script file from the package.json file inside the script blocks basically also this is for ui mode which is we don't need them right for the api we don't need at um also you can you can add them over here ui mode you can put ui mode here yeah. let's go ahead that's it that's it right so that's all about it now let's go inside the config file and api testing so this is our api testing as you see the by default it, it is using base url and extra http headers right with the token so let's go ahead inside the package.json file let's see what is in there inside the config file there is a lot of things right so we'll not be using all of them so let's clean up the process and let's clean up here and we'll be using the test folders parallel we're not going to be using it for now so let's keep it parallel forbidden because this is not a browser we're not going to be workers let's keep the html report and let's use here use and the project we don't need the browsers basically right so let's remove all the browser stuff okay 
how simple it is you see it's basically very simple very simple project right now from from here we can go in a test folders example right so this one example dot spec we can uh, skip it or we can remove it this file so if we want to skip it or uh, if we want to uh, let's say let's say we want to use um, we want to keep this file right let's run it let's see it is running on the npm run test because i removed the browser uh, you remember don't remember that right don't forget that and keep remember that so browser it see you see the headless mode it doesn't matter the browser is there or not so the test will be executing it so test is executing it to test pass which is this to test now we'll be uh, removing this test and we'll be using our playwright test um, api test so one of the tests will keep it here and test let's say the uh, retrieves um, retrieves user list test name or fetching or getting get user list right so in the get user list we are using async and we'll be using over here instead of page we'll be using request so request so that's mean basically that request it's came from the um, uh, playwright api right so now inside it we'll be using constant uh, response response equal await request dot get so do you remember over here in the postman uh, we are using the get and the endpoints we'll be using the endpoints so this is the uh, this is our get and we'll be using the endpoints this is our endpoints and we'll be doing the expect which is validating response dot okay so response dot okay so this is going to be our validation right so okay is a function so then dot to be or to be truthy. so to be truthy also is a function so I'll also use another one which is called a 200 status code so response dot okay so we'll be using response dot status dot status status is also is a functions status dot to be it's gonna be over here dot to be 200 right. so let's see it is working it is how simple it is right so we're just um, using the get method then the endpoints then click on send same thing we're using over here so get method endpoints and click send how do you send npm run test wow that's good you see the one pass so that's mean our test case is pass with the 200 status code if you put instead of 200 201 let's see the test case is pass on it npx npm run test test is fail right so also in a in a results you will be seeing it test is failed this is our result right so it says it's clearly mentioned that expected 201 but the receipt 200 so if you put over here 200 there you are so this test should be passed now there you go so one test pass this is how how playwrights um, works with the api automation how simple it is on the next lecture we'll be seeing some more validation from the response as an assertion right um, thank you so much for watching this lecture stay tuned for upcoming lecture for rest of this course